All right, so we're going to jump into the modeling part. Now, before I do that, I'm just going to quickly run through the axis lines in SketchUp. So we have the blue axis, the green axis, and the red axis. Now, before I explain any of these axis lines, I just want to point out, and I want you to keep this in mind, is that the green axis is always pointed to the true north in SketchUp, which means if I switch on the shadows here, now you can see that this is the north, this is south and this is the east and west. So the time is 1.40 and this is the month which denotes that it's summer in mid-October. Now if I change this to morning, you can see that the sun rises in the east and sets in the west. So that's something which I want you to keep in mind going forward because we're going to be using it a lot in the VA part of the course as well. So the green axis is pointed towards the north. The red axis obviously towards the east and the blue axis is towards space or it's also known as the z axis which is pointing towards something unknown all right and we use axis a lot when it comes to modeling in sketchup so let's start modeling and the first tool which we're going to learn is the line tool now click the line tool to activate the line tool or you can press l on your keyboard l is the shortcut for line so if you click once on the viewport you can see that you can start drawing your line. Now, a lot of students make the mistake of, I'm going to press escape to get out of the line command. So a lot of the students make the mistake of clicking and then dragging and not releasing the left mouse button. So that's a mistake in SketchUp, which you need to avoid. You simply need to click on the viewport, release your hand from the left click and then move around in SketchUp. Now you can see that it snaps whenever I move towards the red axis. So it snaps to the red axis, so I'm just going to click here. And then again, if I want to move it along the green axis, I can move it towards the green axis. Now, since my viewport is oriented in such a way that if I move this way, it will get snapped to the Z axis. That's not what I want. So I'm just going to orbit to the right a bit and then draw my line to the green axis. Then finally back. Now, if you want to infer to this point, all you need to do is Go back on the red axis and it would automatically snap or infer to this point. Now, if it doesn't infer, what you can do is just go to this endpoint and then simply drag it out slowly and then it would infer as well. So click there and finally we need to close this and we have our face. So now before I go ahead, I just want to explain faces and edges in SketchUp. So these are the edges that we just drew with our line command and this is the face. Now an enclosed edge will create a face as you can see. And also something super important to know is reversed faces in SketchUp. So we have a white face at the bottom and our sort of a blue face at the top. This is a reverse face and when it comes to V-Ray modeling or rendering, you should always apply material on the white face of SketchUp. We're going to be showing that later on the course as well. So do not worry too much about it. But I'm just going to keep you updated so that you don't make the mistake of applying materials on the wrong face. But for now, just forget about that. We will dive deep into applying materials in the V-Day part of the main course. I'm going to show you how to create the same box, but this time with some measurements. So I'm going to click on the line tool again. And I'm also going to show you how to lock your axis when drawing lines. So activate the line tool by clicking here or by pressing the L key on your keyboard, I would suggest that you start getting into the habit of using shortcuts because we use shortcuts a lot in SketchUp. Now click once to start drawing a line. Remember, do not click and hold. Click and release your left mouse button. Now drag it to the red axis. Now for example, if your line is not snapping to the red axis and you want to snap it, all you need to do is press the right arrow key on your keyboard and it would snap to the red axis. Now even if I go anywhere else on the viewport, it doesn't change. It's locked to that red axis. So once it's locked to the red axis, you can give a measurement. Now like I mentioned before, you do not have to go to the measurement box here on the corner and click here. You do, you do not have to do that because it doesn't work. All you need to do is just type in your value. So I'm going to type in 10 apostrophe to denote that it is in feet and then press enter. So that's 10 feet. Now I'm going to drag 
my line to the green axis and to lock it to the green axis I'm going to press the left arrow key so now it's locked to the green axis and now I'm going to press 5 and press enter so now you can see that since I did not give the right unit the apostrophe it read in inches so SketchUp generally reads mostly in inches so without clicking anywhere else now I can overwrite this value which I just gave so with the green axis snapped or the left arrow key whatever it is I'm going to type in the value again 5 feet and then press enter so it just overwrites the previous value and then takes in the new value and now we have the correct measurement you can also type in in meters which is something really cool in SketchUp and you can't really do this in 3ds Max or the other 3d modeling applications now for example I want to type in 1500 mm I can just type in 1500 and then type in mm press enter and boom we have a 1500 mm line and then finally to close this I can just click on the endpoint here so click on the select tool again to activate the spacebar tool and deactivate the line tool and now we have our shape so I want you to practice what I just taught you which is using the line tool locking it to the red axis clicking once locking it to the green axis clicking again again locking it to the red axis inferring it to the first point and then going back to draw your shape you can also use the measurements by simply typing in your value and get used to using the line tool in SketchUp. Now let's say you made a mistake and you want to go back and you know how to do that is simply by using the undo command which is Control Z and you can see that last line gets deleted. So the Control Z and redo is pretty useful in SketchUp in case you make mistakes all you need to do is go to edit and click on undo draw line or you can press Control Z. The other shortcut is Alt and Backspace which I don't use is generally Control Z. So in the next video, we're going to learn how to use the rectangle tool and make these shapes faster. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.